Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna do something a little different. I am here, I'm at Goodwill, and for two reasons. One, I really wanna go thrifting, and this is the only way I can justify with the death pile sitting at my house. But I have learned recently, as I have made more reselling friends here from YouTube and over on Instagram, I'm not the only one who thinks this way. And for a long time, I thought, I'm just that crazy, weird, cheap, extra thrifty girl. But you know what? I have learned to embrace it. And this is how my brain works. Like all of the time. If I want to buy something for myself, I immediately am like, okay, what can I buy also from this same place that I can flip to either make mine totally free or cheap? That's just how my mind works. When I go onto the, uh, thread up outlet. When I walk into any thrift store, I find stuff for my kids or for personal use. Okay, well, I can only get this if I find other stuff to make it free. So that's just my everyday life. So today we're going to go into the Goodwill. I'm going to take you along with me. It's actually only 9.15 in the morning and the parking lot is full. It's not a day that they change the 50% off colors. So I don't know. It's a random Tuesday. <laughs> so uh, my goal is to find enough items to cover my grocery trip. I'm going to go to Aldi right after this because I am out of some staples like milk and wine and it's gonna be quite a big grocery haul. I've been doing really great about cleaning out our pantry, cleaning out the deep freezer as we go into fall, which means it's 80 instead of 90 here in Orlando. But uh, I try to use up a lot of stuff so I haven't really been to the grocery store in a while. So I know I'm gonna spend a little bit, but let's see if we can't really, really drop the bill or make it free. 86 degrees, 9.15 in the morning on October, I don't even know, maybe like the 11th. <laughs> and let's see how close I can get to my totals. All right, let's go. These are so cute, but you guys, look at these prices. $30, that's insane. I remember when this store was at the most $10 per pair. They have literally lost their minds, you guys. I mean, they're so worn. Nothing was cheaper than like $10. Super sad day. This used to be the store where I could score all the great shoes. Eight bucks, ugh, not a good start. Yep, $15 for beat up kids Converse. One area you might not look at, but I definitely suggest checking it out is the plush. Now my store, but you see this is $6, used to be 99 cents, $3 max for all plush. They have absolutely gone up. However, this was Wizarding World of Harry Potter from Universal. The other was Build-A-Bear, but a Disney collab. Look them up. Some of them are worth money. Hard Goods was a hard pass. Six bucks for dented up used water bottles, $4. I mean, a lot of this stuff was from the Dollar Tree or free giveaways, and they were asking two to five dollars. It was crazy. Those literally said Greenbrier, which is Dollar Tree. They wanted two dollars. Oh man, I don't know what Goodwill is thinking right now, but it means the bins is a better place to be. That Ariel cup was actually really cute. Did not pick up anything in this section. Over in the scrubs, though, is the first spot I struck gold. I always check the scrubs looking for figs. I did look up Crocs. I've never seen Croc scrubs. Comps weren't that great. But alas, I did find some figs. Make sure you stay tuned to the haul. I will go over all of the figs that I found. I did have to pay up a little bit for them. But figs are always a yes. That was fantastic. It was in this section I decided to stay and keep shopping. I was a little frustrated after spending 30 minutes looking through all of the shoes, men's, women's, kids, it was all the same. You can see they want $7 for all of these and some of them were in terrible condition. All right, over to the sweaters and blazers. Look at this. They wanted $40 for an express sweater, $8. I mean, these are just, it's crazy. It used to be all of the sweaters were kind of a set price. They might mark up. Look at this. $15 for literally junk. Like a no brand Amazon special. Is your Goodwill like this? Now I did look up comps on this Wilson's leather jacket. It was a men's size small. 
Comps were, did not justify spending $25, so I did end up putting it back. There was a lot of boutique-y, brand new with tags items. None of them were worth the eight to $12 they wanted for them. This section was a major letdown. Definitely. The kids section was super disappointing, but I did want to point out this jacket. Had it not been $6, I would have picked it up. The brand is Hatley. That's a great brand to pick up. All right, plush is an area that I didn't always sell, but there's definitely some money to be had. So I will always pop over, especially if you're finding brand name. This is official Wizarding World of Harry Potter, official Disney parks or Disney store. I definitely suggest, this was Boyd's Bears, use your Google lens. That is a game changer. Snap a quick photo, run it through, check the comps. I tend to sell most of my plush on Mercari, but remember I don't really sell a ton on eBay. I would have picked up all of these had they not been wanting six to ten dollars they used to want a dollar so if you're finding these things at the bins like the lisa frank build-a-bear and that dairy queen strawberry milkshake build-a-bear they were going for 15 to 20 bucks definitely worth it if you can get them cheap enough it was not that cheap all right over to the jeans i did find spanx which was great uh, especially because they wanted less for the Spanx than they did for these other brands. I swear maybe a month ago, all of their jeans were $6.99, but now they are mostly $8.99 to $15.99. It was a crazy, crazy deal. 12 bucks. I mean, a lot of these were okay brands from the bins. American Eagle nine dollars it was a no i mean i don't know what has happened but it does mean next time i go to the bins i hope i find some great stuff seven dollars for some beat up walmart leggings i did pick up a couple decent things but it was a little frustrating all right here's some things i did check comps these chubbies chubbies is a great brand these were some men's swim trunks they had some stains i was not sure they would come out i wasn't willing to spend seven dollars to test it out these just felt nice, checked out the brand, wasn't anything. This little lemon tank top, uh, I did decide to leave it behind. I think it was, what, $7? I mean, I was happy to find Lulu, but no. Okay, I'm back in the car. Do you ever notice that the time goes by like twice as fast when you're thrifting? Maybe it's just me, but it is almost two o'clock. So I was in there for like four hours and 45 minutes, but it did not feel that long. Um, I'll, you will have seen some of the footage by now. They have lost their mind. And I know I've said this before, but I have been going to the same Goodwill since it opened a couple years ago. And I love to start with shoes. I thought I was gonna run in and out of here in like 30 minutes to an hour, pick up like 10 pairs of shoes and call it a day. The shoe prices are outrageous. You will have seen them. I don't think I got one pair one pair of Sorel boots and that is because I am in Florida people buy them here go on a little ski vacation and donate them and so when I do find them which is rare they're always in great shape so yikes I did spend $151.59 though and managed to find I believe 27 items few of them are for personal use we are coming up on Halloween time and so I grabbed my kids and myself like a little Halloween shirt and a couple Christmas presents for my own kids. So I, of course, will do a haul, but right now I am starving. So we're gonna go grocery shopping, which is right the best idea ever, right? That means I'll get some extra good stuff. See you in a minute. This is why I don't go to the grocery store very often. This middle aisle, you guys, that candle smelled so good. These Fluffernutter cookies, all of the fall things. Oh my goodness. And can we talk about the Aldi wine? I love a good $60 bottle of wine, but I love a good six to $8 bottle of wine from Aldi. Underrated for sure. They have some incredible wine. Give it a try if you haven't. I know some of the Northern states don't have wine at their Aldi, but $5.99, this is a good one too. Dancing Flame, I love the bourbon barrel that they have. So good, I always buy that Outlander. That's a staple in my little fridge nine bucks you literally cannot go wrong i love it i'm a red wine drinker but they've got tons of white wine their sparkling wines aren't terrible i love it 
I just love it. The beer is not a great deal in my opinion, but definitely the wine. And this is why my husband usually does the shopping if we need one or two things because I cannot leave Aldi without coming home with a bunch of ridiculous stuff that I didn't really need. But hey, that's part of today's challenge. Don't buy the cheap wine. <laughs> All right, I have made it home before I get started. I know I always have on some crazy shirts. This one says alcohol, the glue holding this ship show together. It's from the Boathouse restaurant out of Disney Springs. Thought it was funny. All right, so I am exhausted going to Aldi is so much more like exerting than going thrift shopping. You got to load your stuff on the car, load it in your bag. It's a whole thing. I love Aldi. So this is why I stay out of there though. I spent $222.92. So that is what I'm trying to recoup some of because I will not lie. I did buy some things that I didn't necessarily need um for example you guys this time of year is my favorite at aldi these maple leaf cookies yeah my son is here are these delicious yeah. if you like maple syrup and these apple cider donut cream cookies y'all and i got the pumpkin cheese like I, i'm not like i like pumpkin spice but not on everything but Trust me, this time of year, they've got all their German extra good stuff. Like I bought the German pickles and anyway, so we are going to see how much I can make back. Now, I'm gonna show you what I got. Uh, I spent $151.59 Now I will. There are a few items that I'm going to keep for myself. I leave that in because I'm trying to get what I purchased for our family for free as well. So I always still include that in my cost of goods. All right, because it always ends up getting listed anyway, later on. So let's jump in. Uh, for some of the things that, there's a couple of items that I didn't have to look up comps, it's just things I sell all the time. Other things I will, that's why I'm sitting different today. I will pop up right here, some sold comps. I have still not really jumped back on the eBay bandwagon. So I do check mostly Poshmark. I do and Mercari for sold comps. When it comes to toys, I am checking Mercari because that's where I sell most of my plush. So this guy is kind of scary. Do you know what he is? Is it uh, Sirius Black? It is! Oh. How'd you know that? This is Sirius Black. He is from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Uh, now I did look up him when I was in the store and comps are kind of all over the place from 20 to $60 depending. He is in great condition. He does not have his tags other than this tag. I did pay $8 for him, but so I'm just gonna wanna say what I think I can sell it for. He's gonna write that down for me. And we're gonna keep a tally. I'm going to go on the low end and say that I can sell him for $20. This next thing, also Harry Potter related. You guys, if you don't know by now, I oh, love Harry it's, Potter. It's the monster book from year three, the one that almost buys Harry. From year three, the monster book. Now this is a Build-A-Bear collaboration that they did with the Wizarding World. Uh, so he's kind of a little accessory. Uh, I do think I could sell him for about $10. I did pay $1.99, so I just need to write 10 for me. All right, this, uh, we're not gonna put the tally for how much I could make because I plan to keep this for a Christmas present for one of my daughters. This is an American Girl doll holder bag. We have one that holds two dolls. This one only holds one, but that way they can each have their own and not fight. It is in a brand new condition. And just so you know, I did pay $3.99 for it. But again, like this is gonna stick in my total and that is one Christmas gift off the list. All right, this is Boy a Boyd's Bear Cat. Boyd's Bears is definitely a well-known collectible. They put the tag on here. I paid $1.99. I made sure I'm able to peel it off. This is, uh, Princess Pussy Toes, and she's very heavy. I have sold Boys Bears a few times. Comps were okay for her, um, since she does have her new tag. It does have some creases on it. I'm going to say that we can sell her for, let's say $18. And the last plushie, I love looking in the plush section. So I consider myself a Disney not expert, but I, I mean, we live in Orlando. I love Disney. I've been going to Disney since I was born. Uh, and I had no idea what this was. It said it was a Disney store exclusive. Do you know what this is, Keegan? 
No. So I had to Google Lens him. Google Lens is your best friend when it comes to any plush. I checked comps, if you saw my cart earlier in the video, on about 10 different Build-A-Bears because Build-A-Bears, some of them can go for a lot. I have sold several. But today, like, it's crazy. This Goodwill, all Goodwills, plush like this size used to be anywhere from 99 cents to 2 dollars Now they were all $5.99 to $10.99. And the Build-A-Bears were all priced about $7 to $8. Most of them that I found today I could sell for like the 12 to 18 mark so it just wasn't worth it for me but this guy he is from santa paws and the comps were crazy for him and he has a bunch of little friends they were going for like a lot of them over 50 dollars. but we're going to keep it on the low end and i'm gonna say i can sell this crazy little plush here for 30 dollars. all right the only shoes i picked up these are sorel boots like I said earlier, great condition because they were probably worn once. Like this is the most expensive thing I bought today at $14.99, but I am confident that I can sell these for, let's say $35. I'll list some higher take offers. I did pick up two books. If you don't know kids books at all the Goodwills I've ever been to, these are in brand new condition are 59 cents a steal for kids books. And then I take them after my kids are done to once upon a child and make back like 50 cents to a dollar per book. So it's great. Should I, should I $2? No, cause I'm not going to sell them oh, okay. to leave it blank for that. This I'm sure you guys know is Cacique, which is a great intimate line to pick up. I have sold the bras and the underwear, of course, make sure they're in great condition, but I was getting desperate. I wasn't finding anything that, that wasn't astronomically overpriced they do bras are kind of the one thing that they don't price by brand and all the bras were $2.99 so I did get this bra for $2.99 and I'm confident I can sell it for $25 did you get that one $25. these I picked up two of them these are Catherine's which is a pretty great brand it's definitely a mature brand I know it does pretty well on eBay from watching my friends here and their what sold videos but I'm hoping I can sell them on Poshmark uh, they're just in really great condition. There's a pink one and they're the front clasp. And my grandmother has been staying with us. She's in a rehab center right now, long story, but finding a bra for her has been a struggle. And uh, we tried a bunch of these front clasp ones and a lot of um, women that have arthritis and struggle are hunting out these type of bras. So I got two of them, they're the same size. I'm going to list them together and we're gonna shoot for $35. Now, my Goodwill must have gotten a stock of some local boutique must have gone out of business because tons of stuff all over the store had these stickers. So they're brand new. Like it just says what it is. It says Howdy Pumpkin Tea. This, the black tags were in the Halloween section. This was only $3.99 and all of the other ones through the store were like $9.99, which none of them were worth that because they're kind of no name, cheapy, like Amazon quality stuff. However, I bought this for myself. I just thought it was so cute. It's only a medium, but it's oversized like a tunic. And uh, I'm going on a trip with my mom this weekend um, for her 70th birthday. This, it was over the summer. I, I gifted her a trip. We are going, when you see this video, we will probably be on the airplane uh, up to, or flying into Atlanta, but we're going to Duluth, Georgia to see, it was supposed to be the Judds. And as you know, it is now just Winona, so we're, we don't know who else is going to be there. I believe Martina McBride, a couple others are like maybes that, were, that felt bad that the tour must go on and they were gonna jump in. So I don't know, I grew up listening to the Judds and country music with my mom. And so we are going up there for just a quick little three day trip. Um, pray for us, we are taking Frontier um, because airline, like flights were kind of outrageous and it's only an hour, like an hour and a couple minute flight from Orlando, so. We'll see. It's going to be fun. It's going to, we each have our little kid sized backpack because I didn't want to pay for bags. And so it is going to be like 45 degrees. We're walking one block from our hotel to the concert. I don't do the cold. So we're going to see how that goes. All of that to say, I'm going to wear this on the airplane home because uh, a birthday party is going to be happening when we get off the plane that I'm going straight to for one of our good friends turning 40. Anyway. I hope that concert is good. It would just be nice to get away with my mom. She's been really busy helping take care of her mom and she deserves a little break. All right, so these, you can go ahead and put $40 because I can I, I sell these often for 20 bucks. 
They are these smocked little Southern style girls dresses. These are both a size four, I believe. Now they are different brands. Brand does not matter. This is Amanda Remembered. I do I see this brand all the time. You just wanna make sure there's a size. I mean, yes, you can sell things without sizes, of course. It's just a lot more difficult in my opinion. Oh, this one's a 3T. Um, this one's like Rosalina something, but this one is a holiday one. So cute, but these, any type of Southern smocked vintage or non-vintage, this stuff will sell. This is something else we're not gonna put down a cost. Um, it, green was the color of the week, so I paid, oh, did I tell you I paid? Um, $349 each for these dresses. This was $349, but it was half off of that, and it's Lily Pulitzer, probably one of the best items I've found today, but if you guys are not new to my channel, you know that little Miss Molly, my youngest, loves Lily. As soon as she saw me hold this up, is that for me? So it is only a size four, so we'll get a couple wears out of it, and I will eventually list it, but we're not gonna count it today because we're gonna keep it for personal use first, but how cute was that? All right, these I am taking a risk on. I paid $8.99 for this pair of jeans. Uh, all of the jeans that I showed you a clip. It's crazy, crazy. It really makes me appreciate the bins after going today because I hadn't been to the thrift store in several weeks, maybe even a month or two. Time flies, but anyway, these are Joe's jeans. I got them for a few reasons. Number one, they're brand new with the tags. $8.99 is kind of a lot, but these are the Socialite fit, which I did check comps. I will put a couple here, but um, they are a lower rise, which apparently is coming back. Look, I never left low rise. I do not like things covering my belly button. Your girl never got on board with the high rise. And who are we kidding? When's the last time I wore jeans that weren't stretchy waist? I wear leggings. Um, <laughs> so anyway, these reminded me of my childhood. They've got like a flare leg. They are very long. They're a size 26, 27, 27. Um, they're the Sydney wash. So anyway, I'm going to be, go on the generous, uh, not generous, the other, I'm going to say $35. You know, some comps were like $60, $70. I don't know about all that. So I'd be happy to get probably 35. Maybe it'll surprise me, but I did, that is the one item I kind of took a risk on. This, some of you are going to be like, oh my God, I wore that when I was a child. If you're around my age, yes, you probably did. I definitely have pictures of me from multiple Christmases wearing something somewhere like this. Yes, your girl was born in the 80s. And so this, actually my youngest was like, was that for me too? I think it's cute. Uh, this is this kind of thing, just like the smock, this will sell for you. And this is interesting. It is, I've sold this brand before. It's Winnie the Pooh. Like Disney did a line, like Winnie the Pooh line. It, there's nothing Winnie the Pooh about it. And neither was the last little dress I sold, but it's made in the USA, definitely vintage, girls size eight. This will probably sell, we're gonna say $30 on that one. These, I really wanna keep for myself, but I'm not gonna because I have them in red. <laughs> These are Vineyard Vines. They are a men's size large, which just means they're just a little bit long, um, but they are a pair of Christmas pajamas. They are in fantastic condition. If you didn't know, Vineyard Vines, just like many other brands, always has the style number in the year. These are from holiday of 2019. I did pay $5.99 for these. I knew I needed stuff for this video, but also I got a pair of these similar um, women's ones in a recent fun box. They sold within a week of listing for, let's say um, $20 on these cake. I think I sold the other ones for a little more, but we're just gonna go 20 and they, they sold so fast. Today was my lucky day. I wasn't finding anything, so I went to the Halloween section where I picked up the next couple of items and you can be a doctor for Halloween and if so, you might as well wear figs, right? So these were in the Halloween section. I did pay $5.99 for them. I have sold figs several times. They always sell very quickly. I've never had, I've always had smaller sizes and they've still sold. So we're gonna say um, 20 bucks on these. These are so cool, you guys. I knew when I saw this tag that these were Vintage Gap. Now, Vintage Gap definitely has a following. These are my daughter's size. They're little girls, size eight. They are from fall of 2000, so 22 years or 20 years old, which is crazy. And they are in perfect condition. They almost look like rhinestones. But I only paid $2.99 for them. I'm going to list them like tomorrow. And if they don't sell by the week of Halloween, I will take them down and let my daughter wear them since they're her size. And they're so, they're just so cute. 
Um, but I'm going to list them basically for retail. So Keegan, let's say $18. This is something I got to keep. Just a really cute little Justice. It looks brand new, a little shirt. It's glow in the dark. That one is to keep. This is to sell, I need to get it listed. This is from the Disney store. How cute is this? Let's say 15 on this one. It's a little kid's little baby onesie that looks like a t-shirt. This is the most comfortable shirt ever. I own this shirt. I actually wore it two weeks ago when we went to the Mickey's Not So Scary. And it's not that old. I bought it from the Disney store maybe two years ago. Anyway, this one is a size US extra small. It's very oversized though. I think mine is a medium and it's really big. I love it. It's super flowy. It's all of the like candy corns and Mickey sweet treats and such. So just a really cute Halloween shirt. I'm really hoping that will sell. Let's say um, 25 on that one. These were a great find. When I went over to the denim, this was the first thing that I found. And then I proceeded to see a bunch of Walmart and just junk listed for more. I did pay $8.99 for these. These are Spanx jeans. They are a size large, so great brand, great size. And they are like the skinny jeggings, but I don't think that matters. We're gonna say 35 on these. All right. Now those Disney things, I know I didn't put comps up. That's just because I sell Disney stuff all the time. Um, all right, these I will show you. These are kind of all over the place. Um, going through the leggings, you just learn to feel leggings. I did check comps on a couple other ones that I didn't show in the video that just felt nice, but they weren't going for more than like 20 bucks. But I saw the little moon. I knew this was Zaya Active, which to me is basically like the new age LuLaRoe. And these I did pay $6.99 for, but I liked them because they were camo. They're not full length, but these are still going for like 30 bucks. So let's say 25 because they're a good size. They're size six, eight. Yeah. This I had to have and I paid too much for it. And I don't even care. I did pay $8.99, but I'm pretty sure this is from like the original release of Harry Potter. It is a size small. You guys, how stinking amazing is this? It is Ravenclaw, look at that patch. It's perfection. Like this just feels so good. If it was Hufflepuff or Slytherin, I would keep it. Uh, but it is, they say it's a size small. It's a rayon poly blend, um, but this tag just makes me think it is from like the late 90s, early 2000s when this first came out. I don't know where this was sold. It's not from Wizarding World. Um, it does have an extra button. Oh, I lie. Don't know where this was from yet but it is from 2017 so i don't know it just looks retro it looks amazing it would be great for halloween if somebody would wanted to like dress up but not really dress up i was not gonna leave it behind and just a couple more items you guys look what i found more figs How much is it? this guy oh i don't think i said oh. um let's say 25 but i'll probably list it higher because it's just cool all right so these are figs they are extra extra small they are maternity and if the way you can know that is right inside here it says labor and delivery now it's an extra extra small but like their stuff must run generous because it's pretty big now i do need to throw these in the washer um i got two they were 6.99 each um when you watch this, I won't have, I will have listed hopefully the Halloween stuff, but these, since I have to wash them and I have to pack tomorrow, I probably won't get listed before I leave. So let me know what you would do. So this is an extra, extra small. I got two of them. So I was like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to list them together. I have sold figs maternity. I got a couple off of an online arbitrage deal and they sold super fast. While I was looking over in the athletic wear, literally on the other side of the store, I found two pairs of the same color, the coordinating figs jogger scrub bottoms. Oh my gosh, these feel so good. Now the tops are extra, extra small. The bottoms are small. So I was like, well, would you list, you know, obviously your bottom's bigger than your top when you're pregnant. 
Would you list them as a set, as in one top, one extra, extra small top and a small bottom? Or would you list the two tops together and then the two bottoms together and just note that you have them and they could make a bundle? Or would you just list them all separately? What is your opinion? I don't know what I'm gonna do yet on those. That was curious. So, will you add all, um, what did I say? I said 25? Okay, let's say 25 for each of them. So 25 times four. Four. Yeah. All right. My son did the math for me. And so hopefully we didn't miss any, but you know, this is all in good fun. And if you didn't get the memo earlier, y'all, this Aldi wine, I love it. This worked out so much better than I had hoped. You know, I went in blindly to the thrift store, not knowing how much I would spend on groceries. And all right, so all of the numbers I was spitting out, showing you some comps of, that was a total of $561 that I hope to sell all of this stuff for. And of course, you know, some of it is just a guess. Then you gotta take into account the platform fees and all that, which I did not do, okay? Um, now, from the 561, I then subtracted my total from Goodwill, which was $151.59. Uh-uh, we're not playing with the toy. And then uh, remember, I'm keeping some of that for myself, which is great. That brought me down to $409.41. Subtract out my grocery bill of $222.92. That means if it all plays out how I hope, um, I will still, after my grocery haul, have a profit of $186.49. Now, this could go one way or the other. Maybe I will uh, refer back to this video in like 90 days and see what actually sold. But I hope you guys enjoyed coming along, seeing what it's like to thrift in an Orlando Goodwill. That is one of the newer, cleaner locations in my opinion. And look, if you're not shopping at Aldi, I will say there were like three items I didn't pick up that I added to my Dollar Tree list uh, that were not cheaper. And I do watch several YouTubers here that compare prices. And right now, Aldi seems to be beating Walmart if you're trying to watch your grocery bill. I just love Aldi in general. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please leave this video a thumbs up, drop me a comment, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.